Hi everyone, uh, I'm super excited that I got my Came single gimbal today in the mail, so I'm going to do this unboxing for you. Um, this is the packet that came with it from China. Now, I, I'm in UK at the moment, even though I've got an Aussie accent, just to confuse you all. But uh, this, uh, coming in UK, I had to pay some VAT, I think it was about £20 coming in, but in my opinion, still a big bargain. Really excited to see what this thing can do. This is my first gimbal. I have had uh, steady cams before, but nothing of a three axis gimbal, so I'm, I'm interested to see how this will go. But I know Dave Dugdale, he's, he's got a hold of one of these now, so he's going to be doing his own uh, review of it, and I think that'll be really in depth. Um, but this, for me, anyway, this is just my experience as I learn the thing. Um, nice to see that we get this case with it now. Um, I think this was announced afterwards. Initially, I didn't think I was going to get one of these, but I've got it now, and that's that's going to be really handy. So, um, pretty good. A little, little bit of weight to the thing. Let's cut open and have a look what's inside. Exciting stuff. All right. Here is my Came Single Gimbal. Woohoo! All right, what have we got? We have, looks like a battery charger here. Um, means I'm going to have to charge up the batteries before I can use the thing. It's, there you go. A bit of a warning sticker on the back of this thing. What's, what's that say? There you go, so everyone can see. So something a bit of English there, but that's cool. I'll sure figure it out later. There's my UK adapter. Um, the manual. Now, I'm going to need to read this thing. Some warranty cards. I don't care about them. But I'm going to need to read this thing to know what I'm, what the hell I'm doing. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty new to this. So, uh, that's cool. I'll... I'll I won't bore you with me reading the thing trying to understand. There is the user manual, which is really exciting. Woohoo. All right. Let's move this shit around here. What else do we have here? Um, batteries. Um, now, apparently, these are standard batteries, so uh, that, that should be pretty good. This, what's this? This looks like... Uh, um, this, I think this is the base plate and some spare screws, which is, which is kind of cool. The handle. I've been pretty keen on this because it's been. It looks massive, but um, it, it feels comfortable, which is good. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, it's good to see that they've done that separately as well, so you can actually detach the thing. It makes it a little bit easier to transport. We'll, we'll have a look at that later. I don't know how that's going to connect up at all yet. And uh, let's pull out this the actual main body of the unit. Let's see what this is like. Hmm. All right does look nice in black. I didn't like the look of it in silver. I really took a gamble with this one. I, I, I read the stats. And I thought it could be good. Came TV have always delivered pretty decent products for their price, so I, I took the gamble. Um, but I'm happy with the colour that they've done. I do like the black with the red tool, tool this sort of adjustment there. Um, good to see that the wire is hidden in the inside. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, no idea how this is actually going to fit into the things. I might have to go read the manual and, and figure that one out. And, get back and just before we move on to attaching the handle to the rest of the unit just having a look at the uh, the manual this is the packing list the one thing I did notice we've got everything in there but we haven't got a USB cable um, which is going to be a bit of a, a bit annoying when we try and hook the thing up um, but the instructions seem pretty simple I think most of it though it's not going to be using YouTube to kind of figure out what other people have done in the past and just sort of learning by actually you know playing around with the thing um, but here's the manual anyway um, so yeah cool all right, so I've read the manual and I, I know how to put this thing together now. It's actually really easy. So uh, you can sort of see there, there's a little bit of a, a pin um, off to the side. So you just got to line up the two together and uh, just kind of put it in like this. Uh, and then you just twist lock this thing here and it'll it'll click. And just, it's a bit annoying actually trying to balance this on the table. So there you go. So it clicks there and then that's it. And it's locked in place. Um, one thing I have noticed though, which I was just playing around with before, it, for, for whatever reason, it uh, it doesn't like to stand up by itself when it's not balanced. So um, I don't know what that's going to mean. I'll, I'll show you. So I forgot it. See, it just kind of falls around the place. So um, get it. There, there you go. It's right. Tiny little bit falls over. So I'm, I, I assume that it'll get better when I actually put the camera on the thing though. So we'll have to balance it and see how that goes. Uh, one of the things I also noticed before, which um, I wasn't recording it, so I'll just uh, show you guys again, is um, this the battery compartment. Tiny little nitpick here. I'm probably being really picky. Um, so the battery's sort of slotting this way. It's, it's just a little flick open switch. But this this uh, 
battery on on this side has um, has this little spring loaded uh, bit, and when you open it up and and drop the battery, if I can actually get the thing open, drop the battery out. So that one there gets stuck on the spring and uh, kind of got to push the spring out. So um, just get a bit of a feeling at the moment that you know, probably a lot of people are going to rip that that spring off. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, here's the, uh, the the battery charger. A bit bit weird this thing. Um, I've never actually seen one of these battery chargers that kind of has these spring loader things. I don't really get the whole point of the spring loading, um, but whatever. Well, um, just wanted to show show you guys uh, the charger. Uh, it's going to be hours before I can get these things charged, so I can't even really use the thing. The ne next thing I'm going to be doing is trying trying to balance the uh, the unit. Um, oops, put this around the right way. There we go. Um, but yeah, once I got these charged, I can I can have a bit of a play around and, and show you all what what it'll look like before I've uh, adjusted the PID controllers. Um, but yeah, there's the weird weird battery charger. Just wanted to show you that. And finally, uh, here's uh, some warning notes that will come in the the box. It's all pretty straightforward. But for those that are interested, you can you know you can have a bit of a read of them. Uh, otherwise, I'm I'm pretty excited to get using this thing. It feels quite solid. Um, you know, for such a you know intricate piece of equipment, I'm I'm really happy with the build quality. So I'll post up some more videos and uh, show you uh, how, how I'm going with it. And uh, so stay tuned.